Hi YouTube, it's been so long and I miss all of you. I have been busy doing a whole bunch of other random stuff, so I'm sorry that I haven't been able to put out any videos, but today I figured it would be fun to actually vlog my Thanksgiving feast. So the only person who's coming over today is my mom, and little does she know, this is going to be a 100% vegan feast, okay? Um, I hope she doesn't bring anything over to ruin the menu because she has a tendency to do that. Um, but she doesn't know what I'm cooking. She knows nothing. So I'm going to take you guys through the entire day of me cooking, getting ready. I look like a mess right now. You know, I'm always in my favorite sports bra all the time. And my hair is a little messy right now. But you guys already know I'm always messy. So what's new? Um, but anyway, can't wait to show you guys what thanksgiving is going to look like in my household all right stay tuned and i'll you know i'll turn up sexy later all right maybe i don't know if i feel like it so it's not even like 1 p.m and i've already messed up already um so I bought the Trader Joe's turkey less stuffed roast with gravy and I was supposed to put it in the refrigerator 24 hours ago for it to, to um, defrost. And my mom will probably be here in two hours. So yeah, we all know that putting stuff in the refrigerator to defrost takes forever. So I just literally put it on the counter. <laughs> like, like it's gonna chill there until she gets here, but that's how it looks. There's the loaf. And then there's the little gravy pack. And I'm going to put in some cold water to kind of expedite the defrost. Um, but oh my God, I missed the crucial step already. In my defense, I thought that I was having Thanksgiving alone. Like, I'm not even kidding. I thought I was having Thanksgiving alone and I wasn't too mad about it because I have tons of Etsy orders to do. And I just kind of need to get my small business organized. Um, for those of you who don't know, I own a small Etsy shop. Tie-dye. I'll leave the link in the description so you guys can check it out. Um, but I thought my mom was going to Texas because my mom like lives part-time in New Jersey, part-time in Texas. So I thought she was going to Texas today, but she is not. So now I'm like, oh my God, I have got to make a Thanksgiving feast not only for myself, but for my mother as well. So now I was going to BS and now I actually have to do some serious stuff. So here we go. All right, so I'm gonna try and figure out what exactly I wanna make first because I have a lot of ideas in my head. Um, but what I will say is, unpopular opinion edition, I don't like stuffing. I really don't like stuffing, I think it's disgusting. Um, I'll eat it, but I don't like it. But I'm not making stuffing today. Like, I know some people think Thanksgiving, stuffing, staple, no. Not for me, not for me. Today, I'm making some vegan macaroni and cheese. I got my elbow macaroni. I'm gonna make some vegan candied yams, which as you can see, none of this is prepped, so I have a lot of work to do. I'm gonna make some vegan, or a vegan pecan pie, because pecan pie is my favorite of all. Like, I'm sorry. Some people like sweet potato. Some people like pumpkin. Crystal likes pecan pie. Fight me. Um, you guys already know I'm making the loaf. I put it in the water so it's defrosting, so that's exciting. Um, I'm going to probably make some roasted Brussels sprouts and then some roasted or sautéed garlic bean, uh, garlic beans. What is it called? Green beans with some garlic. So, um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to cook and to have a meal with somebody else other than myself because I am so used to like eating alone unless I'm like out with my friends and then like if I'm out with my friends then we eat together but yeah I'm excited to like have someone over my house and to cook a meal so let's get started with the prep all right so first thing that's up is the vegan mac and cheese so I kind of just came up with this recipe last minute and when I say came up with it I literally found it online um the first recipe that I saw last night when I was at the store used nutritional yeast and that's it. And listen, I love nutritional yeast. I'm all about that life, but I wanted some vegan cheese because we have some pretty good vegan cheese options out there. So I don't see why you would just need nutritional yeast to make vegan mac. So we ain't going down like that. 
I actually didn't pick up cheese, right? I actually had cheese already hoarded in my refrigerator, so it worked out perfectly. So I'm using the Miyoko's, you guys already know, I love this brand. Um, and I'm using weird cheeses, like, like I said, anything that's in my refrigerator is what I'm using. So I have Pepper Jack, I have Violife Mozzarella Shred, which I'm honestly not too crazy about. And then I have another, the Farmhouse Cheddar. So that's what I'm gonna be using along with nutritional yeast. Um, and so this, I don't know what this mac is going to taste like, but you know, I'm sure it's going to be fine. <laughs> Okay, so I made it through the mac and cheese. It's in the oven, and now I'm about to make some vegan candied yams. All right, let's do this. Disclaimer, I don't have all the ingredients here, and I don't really care. Like, I'm supposed to get, like, orange juice or, like, orange zest or whatever, but I don't have it. So, I'm going to use lemon zest. I don't know if that's going to work, but whatever. Sweet potatoes are here. I got to grate some ginger. So I have the mac and cheese that's already done, and I have my candy DMs in the oven, and now I'm about to make my own cranberry sauce, partly because the store ran out of it, and also I like making my own cranberry sauce. It's so easy. You literally need like two ingredients, or it depends on how you want to make it, but usually just, you know, put cranberry sauce or cranberries inside of a saucepan and then you just like boil it and then you add some sugar and I think you might add some water or something. I'll show you guys the process. I don't know how this happened, but look at this shit. Done. All right, it's finally time for the roast. I got some yellow Dutch potatoes, some carrots, some celery, and of course the roast. And I'm gonna lay it on top of this. And yes, watch. of the roast veggies in here or the veggies for the roast 
I'm gonna drizzle some olive oil, season with salt and pepper, and then I'm gonna put the roast right in the middle. All right, so this is what the roast looks like, and I'm gonna put it in the oven for an hour, and we'll see what happens. I have literally been slaving over this um, stove all day, and I am getting a little bit tired, but I'm also very excited that I was able to achieve so much today for my little vegan feast. So far, I've got my vegan mac done, my candy yams, my roasted or sauteed rather green beans with some freshly chopped garlic. I have my homemade cranberry sauce. I have my roast, uh, my turkeyless roast in the oven right now. Um, and now I'm about to make a vegan pecan pie. And you guys have seen this crust before. And yeah, I know. Um, I said I would probably not buy this again just because it was a little funky. It is vegan and gluten free and it just kind of breaks apart. But the recipe that I found online said to actually like cook this for seven minutes and it could help um, just make it a little bit more sturdy. So that's what I'm gonna do with the pie crust and you guys are gonna watch me do it. All right, we're almost ready. My mom's still not here, so I feel actually really good about that because I wanted to have everything done before she got here so that way she'd be surprised. Like, wow, you actually did something today? Yeah, I did a lot today. And I had to run to the store and go get some stuff. So definitely a very, very productive day and I can't wait for her to see all that I did. All right, let's keep going. Everything is finally done. Whew. It was a long day. It was certainly a long day and it hasn't even started yet. I'm still waiting for my mom. It is 4.45 and I managed to get everything done. Um, the roast is still in the oven and um, my pie is still baking, but I really need to go take a shower. But like, a shower is like literally the last thing I'm thinking about. So I'm probably gonna chill here for like 15 minutes, just relax and then go and take a shower. So when I was younger, my uncle used to make this pecan like tart thing um, that had like chocolate and then it was like pecan. So I'm gonna try to do that, like the low budget version. I had um, chocolate chips from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna like try to drizzle it and make it look pretty. I totally didn't realize at 11 a.m. that my mom texted me and told me that she wasn't going to come because she was leaking some sort of thing out of her car. Um, and I feel like a jerk because I just like cooked a whole bunch of food and I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with all this food? But it is what it is. I'm not mad. Um, initially, I was supposed to be here for Thanksgiving by myself anyway because my mom was supposed to go down to Texas. And then... Um, yeah, she was supposed to go down to Texas. And then regardless, like, I've been hanging around some friends, of course, with my mask on. But at the end of the day, I want to keep, like, my family members safe. Um, and so I kind of wanted to opt to have Thanksgiving alone anyway, just because, you know, the current circumstances. So I got my wish, I guess, because I'm having Thanksgiving alone. So I want to show you guys all the food that I made for myself. 
And I told my mom, like, usually traditionally we go out for Black Friday every, um, every year. And, you know, given the circumstances with COVID, I don't know if that's going to be a thing. But, I mean, worst comes the worst, I could just see her tomorrow and give her some of the food that I made. So, all is well. I'm going to show you guys what I did today. And no, I wasn't sitting on my butt all day. I was working hard as hell. I totally forgot that in an effort to be low carb and also because I hate stuffing, I bought this. So I'm about to put this on the thing in the pan. It's a rice cauliflower stuffing. I was like, wow, that's kind of cool. So I'm going to try that too. Here's the finished product. Here's my vegan mac and cheese. My turkeyless loaf cauliflower stuffing, some roasted green beans with garlic, homemade cranberry sauce, these big yams, which the marshmallows like refuse to um, melt. I don't know why, maybe because they're vegan, I don't know. And then a homemade, a homemade pecan pie. So yeah, we went in, okay, we went in. So I told you guys that I was going to look better by the end of the day. And little did I know, I'd be just getting dressed for myself. And that's okay, because self-love is the best love. And I want to feel great on this beautiful holiday. So my mom told me she wasn't coming, but now she just showed up out of nowhere. I brought it there. She told me she wasn't coming at 11. I didn't see her text message, but she showed up here because my sister told her that I was coming. And now she's here. I went to go drive the car as we can end free. Again. This is my mom, everyone. Hello, everyone. She's socially distancing from me. Because I made a YouTube video and I was like, oh my God, I'm going to make a whole thing. My mom's not going to know. And then you didn't show up. But now you're here. Yeah, well, you see my N95 mask? I got it for you. But since I was rushing, since you were crying, I left it. So I'll bring it over another time. Can you tell that it's vegan? No, I can't tell at all. It's delicious. Are you lying? I'm not lying. It's really Do good. Do you see I how crazy? This is how she's socially distancing from me. She's sitting over there. Everything's over here. She's sitting over there. Yeah, because you've been around with a whole lot of people. I don't want to be. This is really good. Can you believe all of this is vegan? Get what? The tripod with the whole thing because they have it 50% off tomorrow. I'm still getting a new one. Yeah, so go to um the Best Buy tomorrow. Oh, I have the flyer. You want it? Yes. Huh? The Best Buy? Yeah, go to Best Buy. I'll show you. I'll compare it. This is a mukbang. Huh? This is a mukbang. And they give you a whole set. You know there's um, stuffing stuff in the middle of the turkey? Oh. Oh, I love making my own cranberry sauce because I think it tastes way better than the canned variety. Yeah, it's, it's more tenny. Yeah, and besides, I don't like the ocean spray one because when he does a commercial, he's stepping in the cranberry with his dirty shoes. You ever see the commercial? He yeah. got his dirty boots on in the cranberries. Tell everyone about your plant-based journey and why you decided to do it. I don't like I don't like meat anymore because because they kill the animals. And chickens, you see chickens crossing the street and running around, right? They don't take a bath, right? And then you go eat dirty chicken that don't take baths, <laughs> right? Hmm. Right, I got, I got a whole big lip. Do they brush their teeth? The chicken brush their teeth. No. Do that. 
I don't think chicken had teeth. They don't have teeth? I have no idea. Well, they should at least take a bath. Do they take a bath? They don't take a bath. They have a bird pond. I'm sure when you pluck their, flop, their, their feathers, it stink. They don't have deodorant. Do they wear deodorant? No. So just think about it. You know, you're eating dirty animals. That's why I start, I, I look at it and I, you know, when I used to deliver the paper and I would see the chickens grow, running across and they just eat any old thing. And I'm like, that's disgusting. And then we eat it. You know what I'm saying? The cows, pigs, look at how pigs are, pigs are yeah, the dirty. Yeah, pigs are the worst. Yeah. And then we go eat dirty pig, but yet still what I don't get is that how humans are so, oh, you got to eat, you got to do this, you got to brush your teeth, you got to do this, you got to do that, you got to do all this stuff to take care of the body, but yet still we eat dirty animals. That does not make any sense. Right? Look at how much effort we put into taking care of our body. Well, that's good that you don't eat meat anymore. Yeah. Yum yum, the best pecan pie ever. Crystal. <laughs> Let me see my last name. Mm. <gasps> best pecan pie ever. Crystal bacon. It feels like force. It feels like I forced you to say that. No. Pecan so pie is good. If I say it's good, it's good. Yes, it's it's not too shabby. We're gonna play a friendly game of Jenga. Jenga, Jenga, Jenga. And it's exciting. I won't beat her ass. I won't curse on my YouTube channel. Oh. Oh, I thought I thought it was a wild YouTube channel. Have a great Thanksgiving, everyone. Tell me stay stay safe. Stay safe, peace out. Eat vegan. Eat vegan.